guys hopefully all of you are doing well today i'm going to show you how to make my very easy mozzarella stuffed turkey meatballs let's get into it so we're going to start off with a medium sized onion that i've diced up and i'm just going to saute it around in some olive oil in a large skillet over medium high heat and then i'm going to add about four cloves of garlic half of the onions and garlic that we're sauteing is going to go for our meatballs while the other half i'm going to make a marinara sauce out of Okay, so we're just gonna take some of that onions and garlic along with some of that olive oil because turkey can use a lot of moisture and put it in the bowl. In the meantime, we're gonna let it cool and I'm gonna show you what else is going into the meatballs. I've got some turkey Italian sausage, some ground turkey, dried oregano, fresh basil, thyme, and parsley along with some Parmesan cheese, an egg, and some breadcrumbs that I've moistened with a little bit of milk. For the exact measurements to this recipe, don't forget to check out gdseasoning.com. The link will be in the description. So we're just gonna put everything into the bowl, all of our herbs and seasonings and all that good stuff. And I love using Italian turkey sausage because I can get a lot of flavor out of it without doing a whole lot. Now I'm just gonna take some milk over my breadcrumbs and give those a good mix. If you don't wanna use milk, you can also use a low sodium chicken broth. In goes our fresh grated Parmesan cheese along with some more crushed red pepper because I just love putting that in my meatballs. And then I'm gonna lightly season it with my all purpose seasoning. Now, if you guys want to adjust the seasoning, that's completely fine. I would encourage you to be aware of the salt content because we have that Italian sausage also in there bringing a little bit of sodium. So what you're gonna do is make a small patty the size of a quarter, you're gonna cook it and then taste it and see if the seasoning is to your liking. And that rule also goes for when you're making meatloaf, so it's a good practice to have. All right, our mixture is done. All I have to do now is take a cookie scoop and do a double scoop for each meatball. That was my choice. I wanted them to be just a little bigger than a golf ball. And I'm gonna take a piece of mozzarella cheese that's about a half inch in diameter and put that in the middle, give it a roll and put it on your cookie sheet. And as you guys can see, I've lined my baking sheet with foil and then parchment paper because parchment paper is a good release. They will not stick to parchment paper. So we're all done. We're gonna bake the meatballs off at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. And here's another tip for you. When a recipe calls for fresh herbs, you can swap them out for dried herbs. Just remember to cut the measurement in half because dried herbs tend to be more potent than fresh. All right, so I know I was gonna get that question. I might as well address it now. <laughs> so moving on to our quick marinara sauce, I'm gonna add a large can of tomato sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, along with two or three tablespoons of tomato paste. Don't forget the link to this recipe will also be below. We're gonna use the same herbs that we use in our meatballs right into the sauce. And I chopped up everything at once. Of course, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of honey. This will not make the sauce sweet. It will not. All it's gonna do is just combat the acidity of the tomatoes. Okay, so don't leave that out. Then you're gonna add your seasonings, a little bit of salt, because as this cooks down, the flavors are gonna get more intense. So don't go for a lot of salt in the beginning. Go for about a half a teaspoon. And we're gonna add some black pepper. In about 30 to 45 minutes, you have a beautiful thick marinara sauce. When the meatballs come out, they're nice and lightly golden brown, and some of them even pop. That means I may have put a little bit too much cheese in the middle, but that's okay. I'm gonna move all of that goodness right to the marinara sauce, and I'm gonna cover and simmer it for another 15 minutes over about medium low heat. And then when they're done, all you have to do is cook up your favorite pasta and pour them over. This recipe, the way we made it today, gives you about 22 to 24 meatballs. Of course, you can make them a little larger if you want. Just make sure they're all the same size so they'll cook evenly. Now you can just add some more fresh grated Parmesan cheese right over the top and watch it melt. And then you can cut open the meatball and look at the melted mozzarella cheese and eat the moist meatball and it's just all good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it when you stop by and we can hang out and cook. Don't forget these recipes and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. And I'll see you guys next time.